up, Finuches? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well and healthy out there. For this video, we're going to be trying White Castle, the world's largest White Castle in Orlando. This video actually took place on July 5th while I was in Orlando for July 4th, celebrating Independence Day. And I hope you guys had a great Independence Day. We did that. We watched a pretty dope fireworks show in Orlando and we had to deal with the traffic afterwards, which was like an hour sitting in a parking lot trying to get out of the chaos. Nonetheless, it was pretty fun. I hadn't done that in many, many years. These clouds are really ruining my exposure, but for the White Castle. So a lot of you guys have been telling me to go to the White Castle in Orlando and it's relatively new and we did go there. And let me tell you, the place was insane. I thought it was gonna be a quick process of getting the food. Um, you'll see exactly how crazy the line was. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. I want to see So we just made it to the world's largest White Castle here in Orlando, Florida. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna have the dine-in experience because there's a massive line and I don't exactly know how long the wait's gonna be in there and I don't really feel as comfortable with tons of people um, dining in. That's just how I am, I express that to you guys. But we are in the drive-through and the drive-through is incredibly long as well. I've actually been in the drive-thru for about 20, 25 minutes now. It is pouring rain right now and we're just gonna have to uh, pick up the food and take it to my friend's house, which I'm gonna be consuming it there. So I've never actually had White Castle, actually real burgers um, at a restaurant. I've only had the frozen section ones in Walmart. And to be honest, that just does not count. So hopefully this line goes through pretty quickly and we take the food and just take it home and go ahead and try for the first time White Castle burgers. So I'm gonna go ahead and order every single one that they offer and a few sides. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, have a good one. Perfect model. All right, guys, so we have the food back at my friend's house, um, the White Castle, and we have, I think, 115 of their sliders, and um, a lot of them are all different. I got every single one they offer on the menu, plus a few other cheeseburgers on top of that. I'm just gonna jump right into this before the flies eat this before I do. And the first thing I really wanted to start with was gonna be this right here, which is the, um, the chicken and waffle slider. It's a slider. It's tiny, but uh, it comes with chicken, bacon, and I think that's it. Uh, maybe some syrup, nope. We're just gonna dig into this. It definitely needs to be fresh. The whole time I'm gonna do this. You know, when I first came out here, there wasn't that many flies, but now they're everywhere. Okay, so there is syrup infused inside of the waffle, and I think the um, waffle tastes great. Super good. Honestly, I know that this would have been a 10 out of 10 if it was fresh. I'm still gonna say it's a 10 out of 10 because just tasting it was pretty damn good. I'm not sure what this is. They don't label their little mini cheeseburgers, so I have no idea what I'm eating, but this one is another slider and it just has meat and onions on it. I'm kind of, I'm gonna kind of assume that it's gonna be the White Castle burger just with no cheese. And this is literally a bite. Literally, that was a bite. I feel like four of these would equal a normal cheeseburger or hamburger. It had onions on it, what I just ate, so I truly did love that. And now we're just gonna move on to the chicken. Chicken cheese bacon. This is not a good review or a challenge. I can't even concentrate right now. So the chicken's not bad for a small little slider, but I do feel like they gave me a lot of chicken here. So I thought I just ordered one. All right, so I had to be sure exactly what I ordered, but as you guys can see, there are three chicken sliders here on the menu. There's the crispy chicken slider, the chicken ring slider, and the bacon and cheddar chicken slider. Chicken, but we have two more here. Is this chicken cheese? The chicken kind of reminds me of a chicken nugget, which isn't bad. Oh, one bite. Well, let me do that again. We're gonna try to one bite this one. If I do this, this should not distract me anymore, or the fly shouldn't distract me anymore. Um, along with that one that I just ate, I think they're pretty good. Again, it tastes like a chicken nugget to me, but we're gonna move on. So this one's gonna be the Impossible Slider. It comes with pickles, onions, cheese, lettuce, and then the Impossible Patty. Now, I didn't talk about the dining inside there. I did go there briefly, and the inside looks pretty big. It was, I mean, 
crazy crowded. You see the middle part over there. They're cooking burgers all at the same time, which I thought was pretty cool. I really wish I have a dine in experience, but I don't know if it's actually possible at that particular White Castle because I think that place is always gonna be busy. So anyways, Impossible Burger. It doesn't taste like a burger to me. I've had Impossible Patties that kind of taste similar to a burger patty, but that one didn't. However, it was still good because it had grilled onions. Grilled onions are life. Now we're gonna go with the veggie slider, which is just a patty on it. Honestly, I think I like the veggie slider better than the Impossible Burger. It had a better flavor. I'm gonna put this over there because the flies seem to be eating that over there. I don't know, I have no idea. What is this? This is if you look at it, there's, I think that's fish, meat, cheese, a bun in the middle. I'm super confused with that. It's one of the fish sandwiches that I ordered, I think. One of them was a panko breaded fish sandwich, which I can't wait to try. Oh, because I love panko crumbs, but I also think this one is really good as well. So first, I just want to apologize for the whole uh, fly infestation. I know it's pretty annoying to watch, at least for me editing this. It's very annoying to watch and it was very distracting. I almost was going to toss this video, but I decided, nah, I might as well just post it and try to make something out of it. And if I hate it, then I won't post it. But I think I'm going to go ahead and post it. But my apologies. Please don't kill me. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sliders left. I think this is going to be like the 1921 slider, which is one of the new ones it's supposed to celebrate 100 years of White Castle. Lettuce, tomatoes, and pretty much the burger patty. So uh, we're going to go on to the last chicken one I have here. This is also the same one I ate earlier. So there was definitely some type of mistake here. So this is going to be the same type of chicken sandwich that I had earlier. So as I stated earlier, I did get two of the same chicken sliders. Now, the only difference between the other chicken slider and the chicken ring slider, which is the one I was supposed to have, is the chicken ring slider has multiple small chicken patties. I guess you could say just chicken nuggets because it would have to be the size of a chicken nugget. So that would be the only difference. I don't know if there would be a difference in taste. So I'm just gonna say they both probably taste the same. This one's gonna be the bacon slider, bacon and cheese. And lastly, we have the panko fish sandwich. Now, a lot of you guys made fun of me because I said planko. I think I said planko. Yeah, the Price is Right game in one of my recent video, but I meant panko, panko breadcrumbs. I'm sure most of you guys knew that, but I really wanted to try this one um, just because I love panko breadcrumbs. The fish is actually really good. So as far as the fish panko slider, I think it is one of the better fish sandwiches that you would get at any other fast food restaurants. I just love the texture that panko gives a fish, chicken, whatever you use it on, um, other than regular bread crumbs. So panko all the way. So these are gonna be the same, but I do wanna try the onion chips. It's essentially just an onion ring in a chip form. And lastly, for trying something new, is the crinkled fries. I can't really rate these ones because they're over an hour old. No, they're actually pretty good. I think these could be in competition with Shake Shack fries. They're like perfectly salted. So now we only have these five, but uh, I'm just gonna eat these quickly and then I think that's a wrap. I have like a three hour drive home after this and I've been on a 10 day trip pretty much from today. So in LA, Texas, drove from Texas back to here and now I'm going home after this. closer now white castle at the restaurant i think is twice as better than buying the frozen stuff at walmart the 
frozen stuff at Walmart. It's okay if you don't have a White Castle in your area, but definitely if you have a White Castle, don't buy the Walmart stuff. Not worth it. And that's gonna be today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. Again, I apologize for the fly issue. It happens sometimes, you just gotta go with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed your July 4th. I already know that it's the 12th today and it's a few days after. I do have videos that need to be edited. I'm just waiting for a few things. But uh, thank you guys for being patient. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.